women's mixed martial arts coming your way in the atom weight division. Marie Rumet against Anita Fairtex Karim. And what a story Marie Rumet is. There she is on the left-hand side of your screen with the red tape around her wrists. We'll get into her background in a moment. Face each other. All right, ladies, we went over the rules in the back. We will have a clean fight. Watch, your, watch the strikes in the back of the head, watch the spine strikes, all right? Make sure you don't grab onto the ropes. Touch gloves if you want, back up to your corner. Before we went to air, Rich Franklin was filling me in on the details. When she was around the age of 14, her parents too. sent her off from Estonia Judge one. to Thailand Judge two. Judge three. Time. to train in Muay Thai. And Blue she's been doing that ready. ever since she's 20 years old now. And there's an awful lot of determination in this young woman. Anita Karim, they call her the arm collector. Watch out for her arm bar attempts because they are very dangerous indeed. And she's the one that's showing the aggression early on. More compact and quite aggressive, pinning her opponent up against the side of the ring and for the second time and a third time, sending in that nice short right hand from that lower level position. Kareem in on the double leg. This takes away that range of Rumet. You can see she has that reach advantage. So she doesn't want to stay on the outside of the punches and kicks of Rumet. Big reach advantage. She's much taller, Gianni, as well. 167 compared to Anita's 153. That stronger, shorter body of Anita Karim using... Let's go, using herself to press up against her opponent there and digging in those punches to the body. That stocky frame of hers will pack a punch, that's for sure. She looks very action. compact, very strong inside the clinch. Also spent a lot of time in Thailand, Anita. Stop! Training Break. at the Fairtex gym in Pattaya. Ready? Let's go! Alongside one multi-sport athlete and indeed champion, Stamp Fairtex. Yeah, this is a battle between two of the top mixed martial arts camps in Thailand. You got Team Quest Thailand out over in Chiang Mai and the Fairtex Gym in Bangkok, I believe. Nice left hand from Anita. She then threw another one that l l left her a few inches short, but there's another left hand from that southpaw position. So two out of three catching Marie firmly on the chin. She's got that tin chin nicely tucked in. But that didn't, that didn't prevent Anita from landing. So she's got good accuracy. Yeah, you see Rumet's doing the right thing. She's not overcommitting with that jab. She's probing. She's setting the range because she knows if she overcommits, Kareem's going to be in on the double leg again. She's got to find a way to take advantage of her height, and that jab will be the first step to doing so. But it's that left hand that comes in from the advancing southpaw position that is clearly Anita Karim's favoured mode of attack, and she's having some success with it. Physically, she seems much stronger, can drive her opponent halfway across the ring. Yeah, Karim just looks so strong inside that clinch. Rumet has not been able to turn her in these clinch positions. Hasn't been able to get out any strikes. It's been all defense from Marie Rumet. Again, that lower level, pressing her opponent into the ring corner there. Very little that Rumet can do from this position. I'd like to see Karim change levels a little bit. Duck to get below the hip so she can lift. She might have heard you there, just for a moment. What can Rumet do from there? Perhaps bring some knees up? Brings it, bring the knee, knees up, and she wants to dig that left underhook up. She wants to raise Kareem up and then turn her. She wants to get her off balance so she can find the space for her hips to get out. Because right now her hips are getting pinned to the back of the ropes. Anita Kareem is the one that's using her knees. She can lift. She might have heard you there, just for a moment. What can Rumet do from there? Perhaps bring some knees up? Brings it, bring the knee, knees up and she wants to dig that left underhook up. She wants to raise Kareem up and then turn her. She wants to get her off balance so she can find the space for her hips to get out. Because right now her hips are getting pinned to the back of the ropes. Anita Kareem is the one that's using her knees at the moment. She's driving them into the left upper leg. Rumet will feel that. There it is again. There you go, she's looking for the level change. Go to your level. Go to your level. 
Look at the effort used there just to pin her opponent and try. She's trying for the takedown. The hands are quite high up, though, aren't they? To displace the legs, difficult from there. Exactly. You hear the instructions from the corner telling her to lower her level. That's exactly what she needs to do. She needs to get beneath the hips, under the butt of Rumet, to try to pull her out and get some elevation. What Rumet does with her body weight Stop, is critical center, here. In order to avoid the takedown. But they get repositioned. And there's a chance for Rumet to use those longer limbs to try and seek out an advantage. Because at the moment, with 30 seconds left of this opening round, Anita Karim has shown the better work. And look how composed she is. She's very composed because Rumet is not pushing her back. She's hitting the jab, she's hitting the two, and then she's moving herself backwards. Notice how she's gonna hit a jab, throw a kick, and now she moves backwards. She's letting Kareem walk forward. Now she's slowly starting to push forward, but she needs more of that. She needs to gain the respect of Kareem. And the ease with which Kareem just moved out of range of that kick that came across her face just shows how composed and relaxed she is there. Very, very comfortable in the stand-up, indeed. Stands quite square on, doesn't she, from that southpaw stance? So she's, she's providing a bigger target for Rumet, but it's all been very, very effective. Now, what does that body language tell you? What can I do from here? That could be the question she's asking. Some of the replays here, a little pull down on the front hand, hits the cross through the guard. Karim swinging wild inside there. Gets the double body lock and was looking for the takedown, but Rumet has been defending well. Yeah, very sharp of you to notice that, Gianni. Thank you, because we saw it again as well. So Rumet's sending that left arm out there. It was almost like a range finder, just sort of creating something between the two. But as you say, Anita comes in, pulls it down with one hand, the right hand, and then sends that big left in. Final 10 seconds of this second round. This is definitely the best we've ever seen Anita Karim look. Stop! Right clean. Yeah, she's in great shape. She's put a fantastic 10 minutes together. Just looking at some of that action from the second round, and that was a super left hand. Right hand from the clinch, short distance. Straight left hand. Again, looking to pull down on the hand. She's been finding that shot all night. Yeah, that left hand is a cracker. We saw it land jaw, forehead, and then jaw again. We've got DJ Jackson, multiple-time Nogi world champion in the corner of Anita Karim. She has shown a lot of improvements in this bout. Well, she's had several jiu-jitsu tournaments, and she's had great success with the arm bar. As I think I said earlier on, they call her the arm collector. Back up, please. She can exhibit genuine aggression. This young woman from Pakistan, and she's doing her country proud tonight. Five minutes to go, and for Marie Rumet, she needs a course correction and a significant one. Look at that composure from Karim. Again, the, the southpaw stance, it hasn't wavered, she hasn't switched, but she seems, she seems a tremendous judge of... Nice combination. She threw a decent elbow in there, Rumet, as well, on the inside. If only we'd seen a bit more of that, what, 12, 13 minutes ago? Final 10 seconds. Plenty of time for Marie Rumet to come again. She will have learned a lot from this contest. But you get the very strong feeling that it's going to be Anita Karim who has her arms raised. <laughs> nice to see something of a smile on the face of Marie Rumet. Taking a look at some of the good work from Anita in those final five minutes, Gianni. Yes, the hard hooks, the hard left hands of Anita. They found a home on the head of Marie Rumet all night. And the pressure and the forward, the ring generalship, as you mentioned, Steve. This was a very smart and impressive performance from Anita Karim. Yeah, can't wait to see more of her. <coughs> She's got lots of ring smarts. And uh, the more combat sports you watch, the more you appreciate that sort of Where thing. Blue? There it is. 
unanimous decision. She'll have her eyes on people like Stamp Fairtex. The USA versus Thailand tonight in the main event. This will be a kickboxing match of the highest order. Stamp Fairtex made history. A two sport world champion. Oh, she gets bubbled down. She goes. Smack bang from Jonathan. It's good night, Irene. Two strikers in the circle. It's going to be awesome. Five bouts done, we have plenty more to come. Here are your next five, and we'll be seeing some kickboxing later on in the evening. That